Matty Brennan coming to take it. Just barely inside the Mayo half. That seems to be back and forward as Mick Kearns with the ball. 30 yards out. Oh, that's a great point from Kearns. Tom Calerdy kicking. Oh, Curtins again, Mick Curtins. And it's another point. <laughs> Level scoring at the moment. Oh, and that's not a good kick from Tao. Willie McGee gets his fist to it. There's a point. There's a great point by Willie McGee. Well, Ted Webb couldn't have claimed it, that that was. And Willie McGee on the ground at the moment, having been struck apparently on the way out. Referee having a quick word to one of the Sligo players. But at any rate, um, Willie McGee certainly getting to that free from Ted Webb, who couldn't have claimed it was a great free by any means, but making a point out of what looked an impossible situation. Eight minutes gone in the first half, then it's three points to two, and Mayor leading. Foul there on Matty Hoy, a free for Sligo. 60 yards or so out from the Mayo posts. Tom Calerdy again to take it. The great kick against the breeze, right to the edge of the square. Down it comes, Des Curtins, and they're level again. And just at the start of the second half, it's still 9 7 Mayo leading. Nice bit of weaving by Frank Henry. TJ Ferdar seems to have control, and then suddenly Des Curtins has it. Long ball across, Mickey Kearns is in there, so is Seamus Riley, and it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty, it has to be a penalty for Sligo. And a penalty for Sligo, dramatic start of the second half, we're not even two minutes into it yet. If this is converted, Sligo would be a point ahead. Mick Curtins to take this penalty against Ivan Heffernan in the Mayo goal. And what a vital kick for Sligo and for Mick Curtins this is. Gets the signal, and it's a goal. <laughs> Maybe another Mayo attack coming now, though. Jared Farrar with it. That's a dangerous one. Willie McGee under it, and that one hitting the crossbar, but it's fisted over. It's fisted over by Des McGrath. Des McGrath. 13 points Mayo, 1 8 Sligo, 13 11. We've 20 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Mayo still ahead, 13 points to 1 8. A chance for Sligo. It's Pat Tom Calerdy. Free for Sligo, too many frees in this game really for any great continuity. Looking for Mick Curtins, Curtins blocking it down there into the hands of Des Curtins, a great goal! <laughs> the clock is ticking away all the time, may almost be conscious of it, nobody more than Mick Higgins taking this free now, 60 yards out from Mayo. Going out towards the left, goes to Jared Farraher. Jared 21 yards out to Sean Kilbride. Sean taking the point. Time moving along, Seamus Riley to take the kick. Takes it now, and the game is over, and Sligo have won the Connacht Championship. Sligo have won the Connacht Championship for the first time since 1928, 47 years ago, and only their second ever. And look at those scenes of jubilation. And Mickey Curtins, we couldn't see him a moment ago, the crowd's around him, now he's shoulder high, surrounded by all his teammates, all the well-wishers and everyone in County Sligo would just love to be there. Mickey Curtins at long, long last, getting that much-coveted Connacht Championship medal, and I think even Mayo people will not grudge it to him. A hard track, and the Connacht final is underway. O'Hara and Quinn trying to get stuck into Coleman and Joe Bergen straight away. Sean Davy electing against the shot. Kieran Quinn, Davy back again, and Quinn once more. Three players to his right. Quinn looking for the first point. He's got it. Well, they took their time over it. Niall Coleman off the left, switching it across towards Ja Fallon. A legend in Galway football. Can he get away from the cover? Trying to bring Derek Savage in. Awkward looking challenge. It's come to Nicky Joyce. Possibilities! And sent over the bar. 
by Ja Fallon. Galway's first point in the fifth minute. Always so confident in possession. Joe Bergen just spilled it, runs past Quinn as if he wasn't there. Here they come, Derek Savage. The cutting Sligo open. Savage, sensible, took the point. Three in a row for Galway. And they've turned a two-point deficit into a lead in the tenth minute. Galway with more of the ball. Joe Bergen. Michael Meehan starting to drift and starting to lose McNamara. There was pressure on him there, great pressure, a big heavy challenge from McNamara, but Michael Meehan slotted that over the bar. Charlie Harrison to Brian Curran. There's a swagger about them now, a little bit of confidence. They're running a point behind, Sean Davey ran straight into Hanley. David Kelly, Breheny on that trusty left boot. He can do it from freeze, he can do it from play. And they're level. Three points on the spin from Sligo. David Kelly, just one man in the full forward line, and here's Eamon O'Hara, surging through, Hanley trying to get back to it, O'Hara! What a fantastic goal! They isolated Kelly, and O'Hara is back to his very best, and Sligo lead, they've got the first goal of this college final. What a goal, it was very close to goal of the season, it's all about McNamara's foot pass, a lovely little collect, and a dish by David Kelly, and just watch O'Hara, right, bring the barrel up, and absolutely flashes it to the net with the left foot. They're probing for an opening, Brendan Egan. John McPartland. Kieran Fitzgerald in front of him. So now they need to get some players forward, McPartland, or do they? Doing it himself, that is superb. A goal between them. And make no mistake about it, they do believe that they could come out of here with the Nestor Cup today. And still charging forward, nobody from Sligo able to get near him. O'Donovan was caught just waiting for that, here's Ja Fallon around the corner. How many times over the years have we seen him score from that position? It's almost his trademark, just spinning around and slotting the ball over the bar. It's Sligo who lead narrowly, 1-7 to 9 points here at Hyde Park at halftime in the 07 Connacht final. Kenneth Sweeney for Sligo. Still have possession, a scoring chance for Sweeney, and he's done it. Well now. Michael McNamara, Paul McGovern. Sligo are leading by a point. We're heading into stoppage time. It certainly doesn't feel like they're leading like a point. They've had so many chances. The right cornerback, Charlie Harrison, to Sean Davey. O'Hara's off the field for Sligo, remember. Here's Michael McNamara. McNamara launches himself over the challenge. Charlie Harrison still has it. Harrison trying to go around Comer. Some of the Sligo people around us can't look. Here's Kenneth Sweeney. Goal weight, the maroon wall around them. McNamara for Sligo! He's put it over the bar! He deserves it! He was a forward in 2002, centre-back today. But McNamara's gone forward. What a performance and he's by McNamara. Done it. Well, all the soccer, all the forward play, that's just pure ability. He's having a terrific game, looking good now for Sligo, but there will be some added time. They're going to have one last crack at this Galway. Here's Declan Meehan. Just three points they've scored in the second half. Fallon jinx one way, then the other on the outside of the left boot. Has he got it? No, he's put it wide. He's put it wide. That is surely it. The referee has to blow it up now. Sligo, are they about to emerge from the mists of history and claim their first they title are. in 32 years? It's got to be it. I so believe. many heartbreaking stories for them over the years. Barnes Murphy was the last man to lift the Nestor Cup. He's about three yards away from us. Mickey Kearns, another hero from that team. After two managers from outside the county, they've gone local. Tommy Brownie took over after Dom Corrigan left. He oh, was the whistle. That's it's that's all that's over. And Sligo have ended a 32-year drought. The celebrations tonight in Roscommon in Sligo all over will be absolutely amazing.